Presenting Rocco Maximilian Magnifico. Rocco caps his caviar off with milk. It's how he keeps his fur feeling like silk. He watches birds and squirrels every day and normally doesn't have much to say. I will note though, when it's time to act, he takes his work seriously, and that's a fact. He can be a little smug, but I understand, since charms like his are in high demand. Plus, he's the real deal, and where can you find that except in the genuinely disenchanted personality of a cat? In asking to feature him in my next movie, he simply replied, Yeah, sure, hun, groovy. He doesn't cost more than a few extra treats and never drinks liquor or requires sweets. Extra petting and coo-cooing he likes a lot. All things easy to give to a star so hot. So, of course, he got the job over Miss Alice, who requires high maintenance and her own private palace. I mean, hands down, there was no contest. I hate to be rude, but have to be honest. Between Miss Alice and Rocco Maximilian Magnifico, my heart knew who to star in this show. Since she has to have hair and nails and stuff, and he doesn't care about any of that fluff. However cliche, y'all know what they say. He's just one mighty fine cool cat at the end of the day. Thank you for watching Rocco Maximilian Magnifico.